All right. Uh, let's make sure everything is good sizing and all that. Don't know why it was the other way around. Uh, looks like it's a little bit left we need to go. And that should be good. Do we have audio? Yeah, we do indeed. So hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Silverack Dragon here, back once again with more Fate Grand Order. But this time, we are done with Atlantis for the time being. We still have the free quest that we do need to do eventually. <laughs> but um, yes, instead, we are going to be having a holly jolly Christmas as it is the 2021 Nightingale's Christmas Carol event. So, without further ado, let us start going through the news first. That's not the news, this is just the warning that people that post anything that is data mined is possibly going to be legally gotten. So, you know, don't data mine the game. But, um, regardless, the current ongoing summon for the 2021 Christmas Pickup Daily Summon is Saber Astolfo Nightingale, Asphataman Nursery Rhyme, on a daily lineup, and all days are Bodica, Caesar, and Darius. There is also some new CEs as well. Um, stuff was on all the time. Nightingale gets the occasional ad. So, Saber Astolfo is a five star. Rio definitely predicted. Um, increase quick effectiveness for yourself and inflict significant damage and MP seal to a single enemy. So, a quick single target Saber. Not bad, not bad. Um, and then there's just the rest of them. We've already gone over them at one point or another. And then there is the limited time CEs. The five star CE is Maiden's Luncheon. NP gain by 20% and NP strength by 20% for yourself, as well as the Pill of Devotion plus one. That is either Skaha or Scotty, Maeve, and the Plush of Ku Alter. Delivers of Sentiment is Sumanai and Sieg. 10 crit stars when entering battle and a 300 points damage cut for yourself and increases the thermometer of service drops by one and then the three star ce which i kind of really want to go for is with my family it is gareth mo Gwen, and aggravain and gain one crit star each turn and thus card effectiveness by three percent and gauze of benevolence drop is up i do like that most of the event three star ce's are pretty much just there for the artwork that is glorious. I'm your sword, I guess. Saber, Astolfo Saber is here. Yahoo, 12 Paladins, check this out. Could it be? Impossible. Saber Astolfo, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to any of this, but it seems he's manifested as the class Tota to be the very best. Yeah, see that? Woohoo! And you can, of course, check out his Noble Phantasm on the YouTube. You can also see Nightingales as well. But that is the summon. So now for the event itself. Christmas is always a busy time for Caldea. Not only are there presents and cakes prepared, but there's also a new Santa to be selected. This year's Santa, bringing gifts of good health to all, is also just what the one needed to rein in the servants running wild at the ratio of sight. Christmas needs a Santa just as the ill needs a nurse. And of course, a singularity requires you, Master. Ring in that season with limited time event, Christmas 2021, Nightingale's Christmas Carol. Singularity has been observed on a mysterious island covered in snowy fields, and the servants are fighting for some reason. A heated Christmas battle begins in the dead of winter. Hello, the Maestamon. Hello. Indeed, a welcome, welcome time Christmas is, and welcome to the stream. Event limited four star, Florence Nightingale Santa will temporarily join your party as you progress the main quest. Continue to permanently add her to the roster. The main quest, which will be unlocked on a daily schedule of sections, the present roulette, so standard Christmas fare. You can see the trailer on YouTube. I watched the trailer, and it was quite the uh, quite the wholesome trailer, especially compared to the Atlantis trailer that we got, you know? Quite the wholesome one indeed. A battle royale of would-be Santas break out on Santa Island. Who will be the victor? Now you'll add as you progress... Bandage of the Holy Knights to get the... Oh, wait, that's the roulette thing. Bandage of Holy Knight. And Traces of Christmas Past is the bandage drop. You can exchange stuff for various rewards. Angel's Exchange Ticket to get more copies of her. And First Aid Kit of Wishes is... No, wait, First Aid Kit of Wishes is the way to increase her MP level. There we go. Uh, you can also use it to get a large amount of Pillars of Devotion from a special challenge free quest. 
Okay. And then here is the release schedule. Uh, the epilogue does not unlock until the 23rd. That is next week, Thursday. A little bit annoying there. <laughs> Just a little bit. But the final bit of the main quest does unlock on the 18th. Which is actually fairly quick. So it unlocks fairly quickly, actually. Hmm. So yeah, I think today and Monday are going to be the main ones. We'll also do fr next Friday as well, maybe. I'm not sure just yet. But um, new quests unlocked through everyone's boxes. <sighs> you don't know if you could do the quest and get nine Gale, but you might just do the event to get some Ascension mats. I mean, I don't know how hard it's going to be, personally. Um, I'm pretty sure that... Hang on, let me scroll back up to the beginning. Does it say... Um... Yeah, this is only a Fuyuki requirement, so realistically enough, should not be that difficult um, to do. I could be wrong, though, but most of the time the Christmas events are relatively chill. Unless you're trying to go for a hundred boxes and then you're just, you know, asking for insanity. You know? Just a little bit of insanity. But, uh, yeah, so everything unlocks at a fairly decent pace. We're going to be able to get to main quest section 3 done in today's stream. Um, when you perform a present reset after claiming a grand prize or all the items in the lineup, the everyone's boxes count will increase. Everyone's boxes records the number of boxes that all masters have performed. Prize reset. When it reaches a certain level, a Santa Bo Battle Royale quest will be unlocked. Multiple Santa Battle Royale quests will be available, each granting valuable rewards. Cooperate to open boxes and unlock the Santa Battle Royale. I did never... I honestly never heard of this back when the event originally went. Damn. I didn't know that there was a Santa Battle Royale quest. That sounds awesome. Also, welcome Zakmai to the stream. Welcome indeed. I hope you enjoy just doing the things. And yes, uh, single friend support should be good enough to carry. And, you know, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, Mastamon, that you are um, on my friends list, you know? I actually... I need to set up event supports. I gotta remember to set up event supports, because I can be very, um, you know, not remembering to do that. Although it's not going to be as good without the um, gotcha CEs, but... Eh. Uh, collect the first aid to challenge a special free quest. We've already done that. Presence with Bandage of the Holy Knight. We already reviewed that. Uh, so the Ascension Material Lamp of Dedication is in the first four boxes. Nightingale with her attack bonus string event. That is true. Nightingale, the fact that it's cheaper to level up the servants earlier is very good. Is it? I can't wait to read what it is exactly further down here. Um, and then this is the various things you can get from the roulette. Strategies, yep, double XP for Nightingale right now. All the Santas get an event, get a bond point and damage bonus. With both Nightingales and Astolfo getting the best, all of the Santas, as well as Ash and Nursery Rhyme, getting second best, and then a whole host of people getting third best. With Mash just giving a 5% bond boost to everybody because she's in a category on her own. Um, and then, here we go. So, okay, I already like the art for Traces of Christmas Past. It is legit. I don't care. I don't like that Altera's in the background, though. That's a little sad. Sheep Santa needs to be front and center, too. But quick effectiveness by 8, NP by 8, and NP charge of 30% start. So that's probably... Gosh... Would it be a 12, 12, 50%, I think, on Full Ascension? That feels like that might be what it is, is 12, 12, 50. I could be wrong, though. And then the Command Code Rewards. 5-star Maiden of Orleans, 1,000 HP recovery when you attack with the engraved card. With a 3-turn cooldown. 10% hmm. is more likely. True. 10% is more likely. I'm just trying to, you know, go based off of previous ones at maximum break, because I'm pretty sure Golden Sumo was an 8% start and it boosts up to a 15% at the end, but it's been a while since I maximum broke Golden Sumo. The Improbable Phantasmal Horse is a quick a crit strength by 20 for the engraved crit card. That's not bad at all. 
and Angel's Bed remove one crit rate up state for one enemy with the engraved card and 100 HP recover. That one's kind of meh. I actually very much like the Maiden of Orleans one. Okay, it was 10 to 15, so yeah. 12. 10 or 12 is more likely then. Yeah. This is not a gun, it is medicine. Well, you know, I totally believe that, Nightingale. I totally believe that. The Angel of Cramia, whose principles were service and dedication, iron will, saving people, little foreign office, and so on. Pretty much the same as in her Berserker manifestation. The strange and massive firearm she carries looks alternately like an umbrella or a gun, and she has become an archer. If the all-too-familiar red outfit is anything to go by, could she possibly be a Santa? Oh yeah, Okita Assassin will, Assassin will benefit greatly. So, a syringe that is also an umbrella that is also a gun. You know, I just got off of finishing Bloodborne, but I don't think I've heard of a more ridiculous trick weapon there is than a umbrella gun syringe. <sighs> Nightingale, oh Nightingale. Uh, but yep, more exchange details, um, but yeah. So that is the details for the event itself. We get our standard lock-in. Also sounds very ineffective as a weapon. Well, I mean, that's the thing, though. You see somebody with a parasol or a syringe, you expect that they're gonna stab you with it. They don't expect you to shoot them with it, though. Plus, the parasol could also just be hiding things, you know? Uh, let's get some Aurora Steel, and then claim our daily login stuff, Apollo Quartz. And there we go. Note to self, I have 17 days to clear out that single CE of Boar King. True, Mary Poppins would be a dead giveaway. Uh, let me clear some things out here real quick. I do not know who these people are. They have not asked for my request in stream, so I will not accept. Um, have I done this yet? I have not. Wow. I did not do the monthly mana prisms. I am bad. I did not do my monthly mana prisms. Whoopsie. Also, I'm nearly out of mana prisms as well. Um, and then... I'm trying to think... Formation. I don't have any CEs yet, but it won't hurt to, at the very least, get some servants on board here. Can I reset? No, I can't really just reset. Okay. So I guess start with the sabers. Um, hmm. So, none of them are leveled. If, in the case of none being leveled, go with the strongest. Um, Emiya. I feel like Emiya's had a part to play in almost every Christmas event. Although Emiya will be replaced by Santa. Oh! Clear support craft essences. I feel like doing that will... Just for some reason, disbanding support makes me feel like it's going to completely get rid of everything. That was like that paranoia thing. Uh, Lancer, Janta, of course. Ryder will be Salter. Caster, you know what? We'll give Nightingale a shot. Assassin Jack, sure sounds fun. Zerker Vlad, why not? And Extra Class, we're going to have Samba. Because we should have all of the Santas, you know? All of the Santas deserve to be in support, I think. Uh, and actually... Uh, so I'm really not going to be doing good support by not rolling. But I don't have the quartz I need to budget, because Yang is coming in less than a month. Uh, let me go to Kscopedia real quick, just so I can make sure that this looks pretty okay. Um, you do not have a thing, Kscopedia. 
Support casters with the Lotto CE is preferred. Okay, night. Okay, uh, sorry, nursery rhyme, but uh, I think Scotty's gonna have to come in for when I get the CE. But this will do for now. Um, I'll work out CEs once I've figured out how many I have, and then clean this. You know what? I think I can spare a single 10 spin. Or rather, 11 spin. Yeah. I can spare a single 11 spin to try and get some CEs here. It'll put me down to a nice even 400. And yeah. So let's... Fingers crossed that we get some of the gotcha CEs here. So we'll do a quick spinner in, and then uh, start the event proper. CEs, CEs, CEs. Honestly, at least one or two of the three star CEs, because I do like that. The three star CE is very wholesome, you know. I like the three star CE wholesomeness in the Pendra. It's not really the Pendragon family. Um, Lefay? Is it technically the Lefay family? Actually, do do Gawain, Gareth, and Agravain have a proper last name? I honestly don't know that answer. Hmm. Note to self: See if Gawain, Gareth, and Agravain have a last name that I can properly call them by. In fact, while it's rolling, I may as well check. Uh, Gawain. Friend points into the gutter? Yeah, I do have some friend points I could roll. For getting the 3-1. Gawain does not have a last name. Well. Three hundred thousand and only three. Hey, Jakester, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Howdy things, howdy things. You've been trying to get Angra. I, I kid you not. When all those bronze servants were released, most recently over the summer. Hey, we got Maiden's luncheon. All right, that's fine. But when all of those were released over the summer, I went to go and MP5 all of them. I got like three copies of the Angry Mango before I got NP5 of the Berserker. It was ridiculous. Day after, that's not what I wanted. I'm doing pretty well, doing pretty well indeed. Um, kind of disappointing this roll was, I literally got a single new CE. But you know, I'll take it. Uh, the Holy Knight can wait dressing up for Christmas and bustling best of move is still a ways off. Enjoying launch on the special day is an absolute must for maidens. So, I'm still not sure if that is Scotty or Skaha, but given, you know, given the, you know, sort of friendship between Maeve and Scotty, I'm I'm more inclined to believe that is Scotty. Oh, you got Mandakar, bro. Mandakar, bro, is a bro. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of friendship spins. Just to see if I can't get the three star. I don't know what my filter is right now, though. Okay, filter's fine. Just keep going, I guess. Give me that three star event CE. Oh, yeah, I literally finished Atlantis on Monday. Monday was the Atlantis finale, and it was damn good. <laughs> I quite enjoyed the Atlantis experience. Nah, I don't really... CE bombs, you know... It just doesn't really feel like my thing, I guess. I, le I do level my CEs up. I just do it in a very ineffective manner. You know, a very, very ineffective manner. Mainly because I'm too lazy to uh, make CE bombs. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to bother. Is that a bad thing to say? Probably. But it's the truth. 
you know, and the truth will set you free, or whatever that saying is. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this a little bit to see about getting the three-star CE at least once, because I do want at least one of it. Jason's showing up a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot of Jasons. Quite a lot of Jasons indeed. But you know, Jason, you know, he's a bro. He's not as... Bro he doesn't have the same level of bro as Mandric Mandricar bro, you know? Mandricar bro is like bro levels of bro. But Jason's like bro levels of bro, you know? Yeah, Jason has definitely... Um, Redeemed himself, I guess, in my eyes. Bartholomew there, though, is still very close to being burnt if he continues to flirt with Mash. So, let, let's just leave it at that. And, you know... Yeah. Honestly, he kind of went out with the whimper. Charlotte. Charlotte made her way onto the B tier of the waifu category, or tier 2. I can never decide if I'm going by letters or numbers. Hey, nice, Meistamon. Nice. Maybe, may that be luck for me to get the three-star CE. Or not, I guess. You leveled up Charlotte's skills for this event? Nice. I have Jack, though, so, you know. Jack is currently holding down the fort for my assassin slot, which is, you know, it's something. <sighs> Come on, game. I don't even know how many spins I've done at this point. True, but the artwork, though, is what I'm going for. Like I said earlier, I feel like all of the holiday three-star CEs, they're mainly just there for the artwork. Like, I don't think they're used competitively at all. Like, the holidays... Like, there's normal three-star CEs, which they have the occasional good ones that are used. And then there's the holiday three-star CEs, which are like... Really? Those are the effects you chose to give it? I mean, okay, but... But... I'm not bashing the Holiday 3 C Star CE game, wink wink, nudge nudge. I really do want it for its art game. So, you know, just, just come on, game, you know. Let, let's, let's work out a deal, you and me. If you had the QP and the fangs, you would have put Jason in your saber slot. Yeah. Gosh, current next one to be leveled up for me. Who is it? I can't remember even off the top. Soleri is my current next one in line to be leveled up. After Soleri, it's... Currently, it's your 777 Julius. Hey, we got a Mandricar bro! I think that's actually MP5 Mandricar bro now. So sweetness. MP5 bro! Good gracious. Still nothing. Well, listen, I, I totally didn't just blank out and skip past it once, did I? No, I would have seen the new flashing, I feel. Yeah, I totally would have seen it flashing new. So I'm just not having good luck here, it seems. Okay, I think... One more minute of this before I call it quits on trying to get 3-star CE, and then we're just going to jump into the quest itself. So I've got the Twitch clock going, I'm timing it now. How many rolls can I get through in the course of a minute? Probably more than one should. Come on, game, you can do it. Show me the family of Gareth, Gawain, and... Mo, and I guess Aggravain is there as well. Come on, game. 
Will do, Jakester. Will do. Give me just a second. I'm in the last 20 second stretch of the rolls. Come on. 10 seconds, game. 10 seconds to give me that CE. You can do it, game. Five seconds! And this is probably the last spin. Good luck, Meisterman. I wish you good luck and good fortune in your endeavor. Okay. So, let me go to the level up order real quick. So I can bump Keo Lancer up by Dose. So that puts Summer Yandere, aka Lancer Keo, at the very, very tip top of the uh, clock. Thank you for, like seriously, Google Docs, thank you for cutting the freaking cell. Like I clicked, cut, insert, are you kidding me? Why is this so freaking finicky? There, drag and drop works just as fine. Alright. Whew, that was annoying. So let's see here. Lots of Jason. Only a few Paris. I kind of like Paris as well. Paris really endeared himself to me over the course of Atlantis. Also, I definitely got more Jason than any other servant. That's kind of ironic. There we go. Burn! Woo! I'll worry about my CEs at a later point in time. So, we didn't get that from there, but you know what? Doesn't matter, the prologue slash broken present of the 2021 Christmas event begins! Paris is that one servant next to Bartholomew that you won't remember when it comes to Atlantis. You know, the reason Paris stuck out in my mind is because I'd never seen the battle animations before. And since I like to use the story servants, you know, I decide, you know what, it's a saber node. I'm going to use Paris to see what he's like, and his battle animations were so hilarious that he just sort of stuck out in my mind, and it sort of made him a bit more of a standout character for me, honestly. That and the fact that he is very clearly a Brocon, you know, that also made him very clearly stand out. And I don't think we've had one of those outside of Summer Jean. The snow fall silently, covering everything in a soft white blanket. I exhale and watch my breath transform into white mist. My hands are numb from the cold, and the freezing wind relentlessly slices through any opening it can find in my clothing. In solitude, I turn my gaze up towards the snowy gray sky. Madness enhancement EX even as an archer. Very, very nice. I mean, I don't you. I mean, I use them occasionally, like the first time they show just to get an idea of how they work but otherwise it's just as when I say I use them I mean I tend to stick them in the back line so I can say yeah they they totally helped me out in this thing I totally didn't rely on my friends servants or anything but the first time I generally do use them like Charlotte I used Mandricarbro I used the first time and I actually used Mandricarbro a couple times after that as well Paris Jason so yeah You're here again, huh? You really don't have any friends, do you? So what do you say? Are you ready to celebrate? I tilt my head to the side, unsure how to respond. What is Christmas, anyway? Normally you know, you normally not knowing wouldn't be a problem. But now that you've been chosen, you need to think long and hard about it. I like the Shiron versus Achilles fights makes you remember the airplane and Apocrypha. Yeah, those were good fights. I Achilles went out, like, Achilles had a great role in Atlantis, you know? Also, this both looks like Nightingale, but... Or not Nightingale, but this looks like a nursery rhyme, but there's a distinct lack of book. Anything less would just be cruel to her. 
her, who were you talking about? But before my lips could form the question, she disappeared into the whirlwind of snow. The bell tolls for thee. Hmm. I'm pretty sure doing the first one... Actually... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first one will summon Padoru. I think. I And you know, I honestly prefer it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm glad you're in good spirits, senpai. Fo, 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 fo. And not just you, all the servants seem to be in a terrific mood. Oh man, there's so much to do in so little time. You know, in my home country of Japan, December is what known as Shiwasu and written with the characters for Teacher and Run. Wow, Inshun. I I honestly did not expect Inshun to be here. Good gracious, man. We haven't seen you since Shimosa, I feel. How's it been, Inshun? How's it been? You're right, Jingle Bells would summon Jalter, wouldn't it? I'm just very cautious of the beast of Padoru. I'm told that is because it is a season where mentor monks like myself tend to be running around frantically. No, oh, interesting turn of phrase. Does that mean you're going to lend a hand? Indeed, I would be happy to assist in any way I can. That said, I am but a servant and I doubt there is much I could do besides carry heavy objects. Hey, that's plenty. Plenty, pretty much 70% of the end of your cleanup is just manual labor after all. Don't forget us, Devinji. Senpai, I would also like be glad to help out. Oh, no you don't. You do stay on Senpai. Christmas is just around the corner, right? And I've seen enough in the daddy to have a pretty good idea of just how crazy Christmas at Caldea gets. No, this is... Is... No. Wait. Is it? It's not. It... Hang on. This... Wait. Is this the first Christmas Lolly Vinci is experiencing? Did Samba's, did Samba's Christmas take place before the events of the Lost Belts? Canonically? I don't remember. I mean, like, did we have Lolly Vinci and Gordolf and all them there, though? Because we only... We only arrived to the Wandering Sea before the third Lost Belt. Or rather, during the third Lost Belt, I guess. I don't recall if it was normal Da Vinci during Summer 4, or Christmas 4, rather. I honestly don't recall. Hmm. I'll have to go back and check. Cause, I mean, I know it was during, because the Lost Belts have been going on for a couple years now, but... Hi, Nemo! Captain also certainly seems to have a lot on his plate. You two, what are you looking so giddy about? Can't you see that everyone's busy getting ready to deal with the Lost Belts? Get back to your standby positions at once. This is no time to be sitting around twiddling our thumbs. G Gordolf, um... You don't have trauma of eating cake anymore, clearly. It was normal Da Vinci in Xmas 4. Okay. That just makes the timeline so much harder to figure out, man. <clears throat> Hang on. Because, like, the summer romance makes it somewhat finicky, you know, to figure out. But one could argue that after the events of Salem, there's the whole year where Caldea is under investigation and then is sold off, and then, like, all of that year's events, the summer and everything happens then, and then the Lost Belt happens, and the final Christmas event properly is Santa Altera, because Gil mentions during that, then that's the last time you're gonna ray shift at Caldea, and then the Lost Belts happen, but... Then, you know, it's like... Where does frickin... Ah, now I don't know where the Samba Christmas falls into place. Cursed timeline shenanigans!
So hard to put together a timeline of things, you know? Anna and Summer 3, despite being a Fuyuki event. I mean, to be fair, Summer 3 also had the likes of, um... Oi, Abby, you know. So. Fu-fu-fu! Oh, Flo's taking a strong issue with that proposed course of action. Hmm? You got it all wrong, you little bacon thief. My snack here is all part of my emergency preparation regimen. Thanks to all the bizarre little events that have been taking place on top of the already strenuous loss belts, my stress levels are at an all-time high. And considering the toll they found were found to be taking on me during my last physical before this nonsense, I don't even want to think about what my next one will be like if this keeps up. Which is why my technical advisor officially prescribed me a strict sweets quota to aid my mental health. If you don't believe me, go ahead and ask Da Vinci yourself. Suffice to say, this cake is mine alone, and before you ask, I'll have you know there was not a single overt bribe involved. Okay, but I'm after ask her, Rodolph. Are you sure you're okay eating that cake? I mean, considering that there was that, well, poison cake incident. I know! Oh, yes. Naturally, I'm still dealing with some PTSD from that unfortunate incident. Fortunately, I oversaw every step of making this cake personally, so I have complete confidence in its safety. <laughs> I don't think I've ever baked with such an attentive audience before, but I'm still happy to do it, especially if it means I can help you overcome your cake PTSD. That would be a terrible PTSD to have. Not making fun of anybody with actual PTSD, but PTSD of cake? <sighs> Ordinarily, it would be a tremendous waste of magical energy to employ a servant who is basically like a familiar for anything besides combat. But considering how few hands we have spare, as well as the need for to let our staff get the rest they deserve, I'm afraid I simply had no choice but to have you attend to more menial manners. Really, it's okay. Like I said, I'm happy to do it. Although, speaking of things one's happy to do, there's something I wanted to ask you about, Master. What's up, Bodica? What I wanted to say was, it's getting to be that time of year, isn't it? What was that again? Oh, right, Christmas. Yes, it is. And it's been wonderful seeing all the servants in such high spirits. Is that what you call it? It all seems like a bunch of idle frivolity to me. Hm, some heroes this lot turned out to be. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna have the cake PTSD, so it's, yeah, it's hard to take you seriously there, Gordy. Don't be ridiculous. Everyone knows Commander's penchant for tea or coffee has nothing to do with their ability to lead. Why should cake be any difference? Anyway, I think it's great that everyone's excited about the holidays, but there's something I found odd. Odd, you say? We well, don't have a Santa. I see. And by Santa, I assume you mean one of the numerous Santa servants we've had over the years. No more Santas are down. My mustache just lost all its luster. Oh, Gordolf. Oh, Gordolf, you sweet summer child. You get ready to get the madness that is Christmas at Caldea. That's a sign of A-rank danger if I ever saw one. I'd best live up to that Phoenix nickname and fly the Koopa like can. That's alright. I mean, you know, it's more to the fact that the PTSD literally led to you all... Literally led to us almost dying than anything, you know? Because those sorts of things tend to leave those sort of impacts just a little bit. Just a little. You know? So, that's probably what that was referring to. Although, to be fair, Gordolf actually seemed to get the worst of it, didn't he? He was, like, literally bedbound, whereas we were toughing it out and fighting a true ancestor, I suppose. A true ancestor is fused with the tree of emptiness. Which, you know, just sounds all sorts of wrong. <laughs> you know, usually by this point we'd have a new Santa saving up magical energy for presents. Or the Santa from last year would already be on the lookout for a new one. That's true. Hmm. Haven't seen any of the child servants anywhere. Hey guys, oh, I don't see Gordy anymore. Guess he made for break for it, huh? Oh, well, never mind him. Would you guys mind coming to command room? Like, right now? We've got a minute singularity in our hands that needs to be taken care of post-haste. Right on schedule. Suffered from not being able to use... Oh, yes. Oh, those were... Those were annoying in some instances. Like, so annoying. But, you know... Honestly, I would say that Sin is probably the weakest of the Lost Belts. Like, thematically-wise... Um, 
I don't like Gajuna from the Fourth Lost Belt, but I did enjoy Junico and them. Uh, welcome to Titosvania. Welcome to the stream. Uh, happy things, happy things. Uh, I've not even started yet. I'm just starting the Christmas event today because I like doing it all on stream, but... And I haven't yet decided what my goal is going to be. Part of me wants to shoot for 100 boxes, but, um... Then again, I also don't want to... I don't know if I want to be masochistic this year or not, you know? There will be time to decide if I want to enable my inner video game masochism, you know? I mean... Some of the characters in Lost Belt 3 were kind of meh, but there were also some really defining moments in Lost Belt 3 as well. Jakester, like, Spartacus jumped so high up in my likable characters list after his actions. Like, good lord, Spartacus was awesome with his thing. Um, that Lost Belt is also when we got to, you know, I still don't like Vich. But Spartacus did bring out a little bit more of Vich's character. Or not Spartacus, but the third Lost Belt did bring out a little bit more of Vich's character, I suppose. Uh, before you don't do what my crush did for an entire year, your name is pronounced as Tito. Tito! Got it, Tito. I will do my darndest to remember that. Tito. You are Tito. 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 I do, and I do actually try to remember as many people that come by the streams as I can, and you know, I will do my darndest to do so for you, Tito. But um, uh, how be things going for you with your Christmas farming? Since you've probably already started by the sounds of it. So we got an emergency. I guess I better get ready for combat. Oh, he, hey, there he, there you are. Hi, Abotica. Hmm, that voice, huh? Here I go, Capween. What, what's this like? Uh... Oh gosh. Is Astolfo the villain of this event? Oh no. Is Astolfo the actual villain of this event? That would be hysterical. You're in need of a new 5 star. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, I've got the GSSR coming up in less than a month, as well as Yang. I really want Yank, but then again, I really want all of the foreigners, so, you know. You don't have apples to waste? I'm pretty sure I've got a couple hundred apples to waste myself, so, yeah. Doesn't bless you with Astolfo. Sadness, you know, I know a lot of people are big fans and want that Astolfo big time, you know. But there's always more chances for him. In fact, I feel like the GSSR might have him on it. Alright, so this is the latest thing you already hear. Um, here, where exactly? Well, that's the thing. We haven't been able to pin it down. I think it's around this year, 2017. And it also looks like you have pre weather pretty close to your average winter. I was hoping you could put on your snowsuit and go check it out Prano. But the problem is, there's something strange about it. How so? Well, the servants who were stationed here at the Water MC are already there. or on their way. <laughs> Don't worry about how they all manage to race it for now. The point is, after they raced for there, they all started fighting. Okay, so... You'd only want to solve him because he's a saber. He does come back in the Apocrypha event. That's actually early next year too, isn't it? So, when it said Santa Battle Royale, and it said Island, I honestly did not draw the conclusion. Good gracious. And Nightingale having a gun makes... Oh gosh. How did I not see this earlier? I dislike the game, so I suppose it's not too big of a surprise. But is this pretty much Christmas Fortnite? I feel like this is Fate Grand Order Fortnite with the whole battle royale on an island, guns. How did I not draw this conclusion sooner? <clears throat> um... It is. Oh, boy. Saber is the only main class you don't have a single 5-star for. Wow. Rip, Jakester. Rip. Started on Jalter. Started with her. Assassin Lee. One punch old man. And now I got ripped off by Artorian Gwen in the Camelot Lost stage. Joined Babylonia. The game gave you Super Orion. Oh, Tito. Tito, Tito, Tito. Super Orion. A.K.A. Orion is 
legit one of the best archers that you could get. Like, he's... Honestly, if you can get him all the way leveled up, you don't need him higher than NP1. He is a beast. I mean, you know, Jakester, you're gonna... If you go on the GSSR this year, you're guaranteed to get yourself a 5-star Saber, you know? Really? That sounds horrible. You're good for archers? That's good. But, um... Yeah, a lot of things seem to be going that route. A lot of things seem to be going in the Fortnite, Fortnite route, you know? Which, I guess it's popular, but... Orion, Tristan, and David. Yep. Tristan is another good one. I actually don't have Tristan. But yeah, Orion, Tristan, David, those are a good setup there. And it sounds like you actually have Jalter as well, which... Jalter is awesome, hands down. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the sabers on the GSSR are all the limited sabers. I'm pretty sure this GSSR is divided by classes, and it is every limited version, limited class. Which is why the Lancer one is I'm, what I'm going on, because there's literally only four servants on the Lancer GSSR. <laughs> what are we going to do? He's there. It's not as bad as it sounds. They might be all, all be fighting, but they're not trying to kill each other. They've all been stopping before anyone's spirit origin disappears. So at least at this point, we're still at zero casualties. <laughs> hey, you know, Grail for love and for gameplay, you know, Tito. That is pretty much the, that is the general motto of FGO. Because honestly speaking, Grailing doesn't get that much more in the stat way of things. So it's definitely gra Grail for love. For the most part. <laughs> Which is why you see all those people with the uh, low rarity things. And that said, having servants fight amongst themselves is still really, really bad. Throw in all the rogue servants who've been summoned there too. And we've got a recipe for serious potential disaster. I was going to call in a serp Santa servant to help out since they're naturally good fit for winter, but... They've already shifted there too, haven't they? She holds all the bad things in the world. You're still recovering from Fate Zero? Yeah, Fate Zero's a ride. And you're letting Twitter decide who you're going to be um, doing here, Jakester. Interesting. Very interesting. Rider and Berserker. I honestly don't know, or at least I don't remember who's all on those banners. I'm going to get that up. <laughs> yeah, I don't have Salome leveled up. Salome is actually, like, near the bottom of my level up priority list. Let me see here. What is Salome currently sitting at? Uh, let me delete that random cell. Let's see. So at the current bottom is Summer Ishtar, because Larvitar doesn't like her. Then Bunny King. Then McCool. And then Bartholomew. And then Salome. There we go, yep. So Salome is not at the bottom, but if we're not counting servants that were put there by the rankings, Salome is second from the bottom. Yeah. It does suck that Bunny Toria is gonna be all gonna be so long of a wait unless somebody shows her some love. No matter how many times you read Salome, you read Salami. They told you to pick Waver. Yeah, Waver is a very very solid choice for GSSR, but um, I don't know, have, I'm guessing you've never partaken in a GSSR before from the sounds of it here, Tito, but GSSR isn't something you pick, it's something that you um, roll on a banner with paid quartz only, and you get from the certain selection of servants. But there is going to be coming up a thing where you do get to pick a free 5-star. I just don't know when exactly that is. One moment. If I understand you correctly, a large number of patients is awaiting aid at this race of destination. That voice. I honestly don't know what to really do for Nightingale's voice. I guess as high-pitched and as elegant as I can go. Nightingale, it's my duty to help out the injured, wherever they may be. Very well, then. 
<laughs> Let us be on our way, master. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Nightingale looks slick in that suit. Like, sh honestly, that suit looks very, very slick on Nightingale. It is kind of funny that looking at her, she sort of has the jester cap for the Santa cap, but she looks very slick in this. Ah, uh, Nightingale. Yes, I'm Florence Nightingale. Well, we already knew that. Uh, the free five-star pick that should be coming up. <laughs> um, there is some sort of whale. Wait, why am I saying whale? There is... I'm pretty sure there will be coming up a thing where you can pick a free five-star servant. That's coming in May. Okay, there we go. So in May is when you can get a free five-star. Yes, yes, yes. Also, Ryder, Ryder and Berserker. That's not a bad choice. That is not a bad lineup of servants to possibly get. You only become a whale in fate when you put your dark plan into work, which is to have Bill Gates as your sugar daddy, which now that he is single, it is possible. Hey, you know what? Dream big and you could achieve. Dream big and you can achieve your dreams. But I'm pretty sure that's not your usual outfit. Oh, this. No, I suppose not. I'm uncertain why my wardrobe change occurred. But no matter, my combat style may be different now, but I'm still me. Please pay it no mind. <laughs> yep. Santa Nightingale. Hmm. I don't understand. Isn't Santa Claus supposed to be a jolly old man? You know? <laughs> you know? She brings up a very excellent point. I don't think that before Nightingale, there has been any Santa servant that has come after Saint Nicholas was an actual thing. Like, legitimately, I don't think that there has ever been somebody who has said that, or somebody from that, because Salter is very clearly, very clearly Saber, which is medieval times. Janta is Jalter, which, I mean, I don't honestly know the... I'm going to actually look this up now, because I'm legitimately curious. St. Nicholas. So, St. Nicholas was... Okay, so... St. Nicholas would... Wow, actually... Hmm. So, when did... You know When did... When did the concept of Santa begin? When did the concept of Santa Claus begin? I'm legitimately wondering. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a deep dive to try and figure this out. Okay, so... It looks like maybe 1823, roughly? 16th century is when Father Christmas started coming about but the fat jolly old man became became a thing around 1823 and then Florence Nightingale is 1820 to 1910 so yeah so Nightingale would have grown up with the concept of Santa Claus being a bearded jolly old man huh wow Interesting. I honestly... It is the first time it has been brought up, isn't it? Somebody did say it. Uh, they could add Artoria's, pen, Artoria's parents to the game, Uther and her mother and the old lineage. Uther, I could... I could definitely see Uther Pendragon being added to the game. I honestly don't know who Artoria's mother is, though. And in fact, I don't think that's ever really addressed in Fate. Yeah, it's, it's never really addressed in the fate if Artoria has a proper maternal figure or not. Hmm. And I mean, even father figure, it's sort of implied that Merlin is more of her father than Uther was, so... You know? I mean, who knows? Fate loves Seba, after all. Somebody finally addressed the elven in the sleigh uh, room. 
Never mind that now, though. That's just how things work around here. Anyway, now that we've got a new Santa servant, that makes things nice and simple. You just... You're just servant we need to help out with this mission. Everyone, get ready to ray shift. Unfortunately, Sion and the rest of the staff have their hands full with the Lost Boat situation. So I'd like you to back up Master from here. Can you do that, Mash? Yes, of course. This will my job back in Kaldea, too, after all. Master looks like I'll be handling your existence verification this time. I wish I could, could, come, I wish I could accompany you myself, but I guess that's just not in the cards this time. I'll bring you back the best Christmas present ever, Mash. Me! Thank you, Senpai. I can't wait. Uh, a green pen dragon. Honestly, even knowing that now, and I've read up on Arthurian mythology, that name does not sound familiar, which is kind of sad that Artoria's mother is so little known. Uh, does she have a male skin version? Artoria? Is that who you're asking about, Tito? If you're asking if there's a male Artoria, technically yes, is the answer to that. Technically yes, there is male Artoria. Which is just Arthur. Which is, you know... Things you wouldn't expect to say before fate. Yeah, we have a male version of Arthur Pendragon as a character you can play with. Like, before fate, you would never think to say something like that. But we have the temporary Nightingale. Thank you. That's right, thank you. I'm very happy. I do not quite understand what you mean by contract, but now you can continue to assist me. So let us head out. The night to eradicate all diseases has just begun. The night to eradicate all diseases. The syringe umbrella machine gun. You know... I really don't know. I really, really don't know. You're sad you need Phoenix Feathers and Lures to 10 10 10 your mash? Good on you for 10 10 10 your mash. The Mashu should always be 10 10 10 because she is best Kohai. For sure. For sure. She is also my number one waifu. But that's beside the point. But, um. You should be capable of getting a lore or two from this event. Because that is where the lures most commonly come into play. Most events have three lures that you can get for the first time through. And that's generally to 10-10-10 the event servant, but, you know, it's for other purposes as well. Tenth box and the challenge quest. is. I feel like there should be a third one. Because, like I said, most events seem to have three. But um, Santa Nightingale is actually a potentially... Very, very important thing that I need if I plan to take down She Who Shall Not Be Named without any KP benefits when the main quest interlude comes along with Melt. Because that assault medicine, or no, is it assault medicine? There, She's got one of these. One of these skills is enough to get me what I need to get. Uh, magic Resistance C, Independent Action A+, plus Madness Enhancement EX. And she is an AoE Quick Archer that removes... Oh, she I was about to say removes Poison Burn and Cursed. That's excellent, but that's from all enemies, so that is uh, kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah. And then her profile, the eight, we already read that. She's got decent stats across the board. Not too physically strong, but you know, that's fine. Hey, you know what? No worries, T Tito. No worries. This is a friendly stream to whoever wishes to join in. But um, you know what? Because you are new here, I have plenty of open spaces. So if you wish to, here is my friend code, so simply send me a friend or follow thing in-game, and I will be sure to add you into my lineup so that you have access to my support list. 
Oh, I... I use MASH all the time. I... I hope, beyond all hopes, that I get some, uh... Oh, that's perfectly fine, my Stamon. That is perfectly fine. I hope, beyond hopes, that we get to fight Solomon and Tiamat again. Because it is a goal of mine to solo every single beast with MASH at least once. I did it with Kama. I did it with She Who Shall Not Be Named. And technically she did it herself with Beast the Fourth. But, you know, if Tiamat and Goetia appear again, I plan on soloing them as well. Oh yeah, I do have a Discord as well. Uh, Discord is kind of, you know... I do go on it, but it's not as active as I would like it to be, you know? But, um... The orange gears to get Assassin Lee's Ascension. I can look up to where those get, but... There's my friend code. It will likely show up after I do this next quest. So let's start things off with Section 1. Santa Claus Noir. Um, actually... You know what? Executive decision. Since it is her event... It only makes sense to push her to higher priority with levelings. So let us start things off by getting Nightingale Santa skilled up to the appropriate skill levels here. Which is going to be 6. Because every servant gets to be 666. Every single one. But, um, Tito, since you did say you are new to this game, um, I'm going to post in chat here a link to a Google Doc that has the best drop rates for the various items and which where to get them from their best. So, if you click on this link here, that should be a list of the best places to get every item as a drop. So that should help out with your farming endeavors. You know what, maybe I should, I should make a resources for new players thing. That actually could be a good thing. Thoughts are thinking of thoughts. Um, also, let's unhide the foes here. Um... It shows the top five places, and some of them are in early places, so... Let me see. So, for example, you need, for him, the orange gears. That would be the... Hang on. The eternal gears. So, yeah, the best place to farm eternal gears, the second best place, is in Chicago. So, you could go to Chicago and you have the second best farming spot for Eternal Gears, if that is what you're looking for. So yeah, it has it's quite the resource. I could actually, that should be something I do. But for now, where's the foes? Foe, oh foe. Wherefore art thou foe? Wow, I do not have a lot of foes. Um, okay. Claim these two. And let's get Santa Nightingale boosted. Not skill. Um, not skill. Silly me, silly. Servant. And Nightingale. AoE servants are quite good. Um, for farming purposes, though, it is generally recommended to level up Arash. Especially if you have a K-Scope, because Arash makes farming things so much easier in some cases. Yeah, no problem. No problem. But overall, Kidgill is actually a fairly decent servant. Um, Kidgill is a fairly decent servant in a lot of things, just because he does have that charm. And I'm pretty sure that Kidgill's charm does not depend on gender, if memory serves. Which does add to his... Goodness factor, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Um, do I need any of these embers in particular? Not really. Um, 
let's fish for better than normal suck chances then. You know what? Skill mats are where the main part of farming is going to come into play. And it's something that will come with time, you know? These sort of events... Uriel's charm is pretty good. She is often used to get through Camelot. But like I said, I'm pretty sure Gil's charm is gender neutral. I'm actually going to look that up real quick just so I don't give off false information. So... Yeah, Uriel is just against males. And Gilgamesh... Pulling him up now here. Excuse me. Kid Gil is neutral. Alright! I am... Not poor of memory. Woo! I oftentimes have a poor memory, so getting that right is good to know. It might not be as good of charm odds, though. That might be the main kicker. That might be the main kicker, is that Gil might be a lesser charm chance. I don't know. Most of my charming comes from Kama nowadays, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Saiyanta Nightingale is ready and raring to go. Uh, I should probably put her in the formation. Support... This event and I can't so I guess for now Emiya you're going in and just because I don't really know mash you get the maiden's luncheon for now there we go that works for now okay back to the event so section one Santa Claus Noir and probably craft essence and this Generally is the three star to start with. That's not what I meant to exclude. There we go. Um Can I show me the maximum breaks only okay that's what I did wrong. There we go. Show me everybody. Infamy! Okay. Uh we'll bring Infamy's Jack along. Kama is very good, indeed. Okay, um, trying to see. Do I have this cleared relatively well? I can probably clear this one out here for the time being. And then this one will be the bronze mat node. Uh, we'll keep farming Captain Caldea's experience up. Come in. Uh, give me just a moment, guys. I'm going to run an ad here. Currently in the middle of helping my dad cook ribs for dinner because ribs are excellent. So I'm going to run a quick ad break here for about a minute, fine, you think will be enough? Okay, I'm going to run an, a minute ad break, break real quick. You remember where the bag of... They can still pick up your, oh, your mic. Bag of, uh, Salazar? Uh... I am back, and I missed the minute mark. So yeah, I'm back though. Uh, like I said, just had to deal with some smoker problems because we're smoking some ribs, and oh, I can't wait. Anyways, um, setup. Right, so this is going to be our bronze squad. Uh, right, so I'm still filtering by this. So like this, 
we will bring Nightingale along here so that she can get boosted. We will give her Sumo. And then we'll just bring along Waver because he's always good. Pop him there with... I gotta go through my CEs because they're overflow. So much overflow on CEs. Note to self, take care of CEs before too long. Where is Fragment? Fragment of 2030, where are you? At least the music is nice and calming. Good gracious, I must have passed up Fragment of 2030. Fragment. There it is. Okay. Good lord. And then, I guess, Christmas, or bonus servants that don't really have bond up? Yeah, bond bond points now, since we don't have any, three, any of the uh, appropriate CE, which means not dinner time, but actually... Dinner time is probably the better one for the master experience. And lunch time. And you know what? All the Caldea times. Why not? Alright. This should be fine. Let's go. Alright. Welcome back, Tito. Welcome back. Cool. I will be sure to respond to the ad requests as soon as we're done with this section. A snowed field like this is no place for people to spend long periods of time. How is your snowsuit working, Master? All good. I'm afraid that's not good enough. Here, I want you to wear this ski mask, goggles, and hat as well. You have your pocket warmers, yes? You'll also need some warm food. And here's a scarf to keep your neck safe from the elements, too. So Santa Nightingale is like a very doting mother, it seems. I'm already getting that impression. I can barely see you and I don't need all the snow gear now. I see this serving as something of a worrywart, but that should make her a good fit for Sol in these circumstances. <clears throat> Master, I'm picking up some servant greetings just ahead of your position. They don't seem to be fighting right now. Why don't you see if they're willing to talk? Roger, roger. Blizzards. Hold it, Master. I can see a faint light over there. It could be one of the servant ma servants Mash picked up. Let us go investigate. Right on, Nightingale. Right on. Shelter! Salter! Hey, Santa, do a trick or something. I'm getting bored out of my skull here. Santa does not do tricks. Her job is to fly around with the jet engine throwing presents at good little boys and girls. You know, I can, I can definitely see that being something Santa could do. If a trick is what you desire, then amuse yourself. Who do you think he is? Can't you see how brilliant those flames are? I hardly think lighting a candle qualifies as a brilliant flame. Okay, I know this is filthy rich coming from me, but you still treat him like but you treat him like shit. You know that, right? <laughs> it is Darius the Third who lit our way. What do you want, Master? In fact, what are you even doing here? Well, now aren't you to an unhealthy looking couple? Oh, also, you know what? It kind of just occurred to me. Nightingale is the first Santa that is actually wearing a Santa outfit of red and green. Red, green, and white. Because Salter is the dark colors. Janta is more white colors. Actually... No, Al Altair actually, Altera does have the Santa colors, yeah. Altera does have the Santa colors, it's just, you know, she's wearing a literal bikini, so. But she, she at least has the mustache. None of them have the mustache down yet. Santa Altera currently is best Santa outfit look, simply because of the mustache. Santa Alter talking to Jolter like the No Way Home movie, some kind of reference. I think it's a little bit early for that. 
sort of reference, unfortunately. Just because No Way Home literally just aired, and they've been working on dubbing this for a while, so... Clever thought, but sadly, not the case. Sadly, sadly. It would be neat, though. I imagine we will start getting some of those references eventually, though. But, uh... Yeah. You know, I, there's always been some tension between these two, to be honest. You should stop burning the lamp oil or the candle wicks, and the case may be in return to Calais at once. Yeah, I guess you're right. Much as I'd love to do just that, I'm afraid there's just one little problem. And that we agree, I never expected you would also be a Santa Nightingale. What do you mean? I'm Florence Nightingale, not Santa Claus. Yeah, I don't care. Now hand over those Santa resources if you know what's good for you. I need them to get even more Santa power. Santa! Now I see. First you call me Santa, now you're spouting delusions about Santa power. You're clearly suffering from derangement. Fortunately, I have amples of sedative full of sedative right here with me. But I will need your orders to help administer them, Master. Seeing as they are all soldiers, I doubt I will be able to treat them without first subduing them in combat. I guess we will do that. Indeed we are. Now to battle. Santa has for one day to come true. I mean, you know, with last year JP getting Santa Karna, they're very clearly opening the door to male Santas. Which again is a very weird statement you would not think of having to say before Fate Grand Order happened. But yeah, these enemies, they're weak enough that you should be capable. Especially if you have a level 100 shelter, you should definitely be fine with taking these guys on. Uh, I kind of want to get Nightingale's NP a shot here. And that's not really going to do much for us, so. Nightingale, it's time to spread some Christmas cheer. I'll wipe away all that is toxic and crush anything that is harmful. <laughs> oh god. That's hilarious. Literally floating around on her parasol, dropping grenades from her bag, shooting her syringe machine gun at them with artillery fire, and then doing one giant blast. Oh, Nightingale, you are rich. And good gracious, it gives you a heart from this node. I remember when the hearts of the foreign god were difficult and you needed a lot of them. Ah, oh, man. I remember the days. Oh, 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 no more needles. They sting like crazy. No, they don't. You only think they do. No, um... <clears throat> I, I definitely, definitely think and agree that needles sting like crazy. I'm not a fan. Yeah, they don't know my own paint receptors. The old sedatives are meant for soldiers. You felt nothing. What do you think those soldiers are going to feel when you pump up full of these things? No oh, real pain, that's what... Hmm, I hadn't thought of it like that before. Well, now. I would seem the, cloud, the fog cloud in your mind has cleared up considerably, jean Claus. Perhaps those ampoules contain just enough of the medicine you needed after all. I told you you were sick. Yeah, what is going on here? A fair question. Very well, then allow me to explain while little Miss Dragon Maiden continues crying over her shots. Um, you know what? It's fully fine. You don't need to apologize. It's so Especially with CE supports, that is something that you will figure out as time goes, generally. Um, generally speaking, though, if you have any CEs that give a bonus to mass to bond experience or qp those tend to do best on your caster class servants for support because that is what most people use your casters for is bond or ce farming those tend to be the best for the caster classes just as a note as a bit of advice from an experienced player uh hey i'm not crying you're crying don't look at me dumbass First, let me tell you where we are. This place is known as Santa Island. Yes, Santa Island. Santa Island? 
Santa Island. Kirk, Santa Island. Well, looks like it's time for my heck and ulcer medication. Oh, Gordy. Gordy, Gordy, Gordy. Man, just watching Gordal slowly but generally get introduced to these new things that are like, oh, that's Caldea for ya. And then just watching him slowly get used to them, just the corruption of Caldea getting to him is so good. Hello, Paracelsus. This is the command room. Could you please bring me the usual? Much obliged. You really gotten used to life around here, haven't you, Gordy? Of course I haven't. Why do you think I need the medicine? Damn it, I didn't want to have to ask this, but will someone tell me what in the world Santa Island is already? All you need to understand is that this is an island by, of Santas, by Santas, and for Santas. To be perfectly blunt, the weeping dragon maiden there was brainwashed. I was only here because I found her amusing to watch. <laughs> uh, who, who could brainwash shelter? Then are all these fights to the death taking place here a result of brainwashing? No. The term brainwashing so may sound alarming, but its effects are minimal. All it does is make the brainwashed fervently believe that they must become Santa, or that they already are Santa. Nothing more. <laughs> oh. Uh. So, does that mean that she's brainwashed then? Technically speaking. That all sounds pretty bad to me. I'll say. Well, I've already got us this. <clears throat> I mean, a lily ver version running. Of me running around as Santa. Jalter is warming up to the idea. She's warming up to the idea that she has siblings. So why do I gotta get wrapped up in the Santa bullshit too? Yeah, we're, we only just got here. Calm, Jalter, calm. How did things come to be th this in the very first place? I'm afraid I don't know that either. I haven't... I've even forgotten everything I knew about that crucial aspect. I don't remember a damn thing either. Actually, there might be one thing. I think I remember meeting someone before this went down. Oh? How can I put this? Some insufferable bright cheery sort, kind of my opposite, really. I also seem like someone who, who my whole bloodline has some real bad history with. There was also something about their very existence that made me want to just pinch their cheeks and keep twisting them far until they should go. So yeah, someone like that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that fall under that, so I'm gonna go with I have no idea. Oh, that's all the hints you're getting from me. Oh, this sucks. I'm freaking exhausted. Well, aren't you going to offer to let me rest my head in your lap? You know what? Jalter, you're in the tier one category of waifu, so feel free. You, she doesn't really have any spiky head armor, you know? In fact, her armor isn't that spiky at all. Why are you looking at me like that? Just hurry up and let me lie down already. <laughs> her soon energy. She's just, she's fully embracing the dairy at this point. Um, Shelter, there's no hostile entities nearby, so I don't think you need to be that close to Master. What was that? Who cares? It's not like I'm gonna eat him alive or something. You aren't. Of course not. The hell do you think I am? A man eater. How do you ever freaking shut up? This is exactly why I hate about Santas. They all suck. Absolutely. Oh. Wait, what? Indeed, I couldn't agree more. Sneaking into houses in the dead of night and giving children so-called candy in the form of sugary lumps. By increasing tooth decay, he's doing the devil's work. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, come on, you're technically a Santa yourself now, right? Hmm? You think I'm Santa Claus? You know, Master told me something similar, but I just don't see it. What makes you think I'm Santa? I'm just a nurse making house calls in a slightly reddish outfit. Oh, yeah, then what about the Christmassy bells on your nursing kit? <laughs> So Nightingale is going to be in fervent disbelief that she is Santa. Oh, I, when did those get there? I didn't even notice. My point is, if they're there now, there's got to be a reason for it. Regardless whether you accept the truth about your Santa status or not, Santa Island is still overrun with servants who also claim to be the one true Santa. So long as you have those Santa-esque bells, you're going to be end up a target. Oh, well, if Santa Claus wants to stop giving children cavities in order to come after me. <laughs> Loading... <laughs> Oh, Nightingale. She's ready to pump Santa full of syringes to... as pot. Oh, Nightingale. 
I'll be more than happy to face him and bring him to account for, to account for his crimes. Oh, man. What are we going to do about this, Master? I'm not sure how we can get on the same page about Santa Claus without whether our consumption of him is so different from ours. And if we play our cards poorly, we could have dramatically demotivating her. Why don't we wait and see how this plays out for the time being? Besides, I hate to lose one of those few servants who takes their duties seriously. Good point. If we mess this up, we'll already be the first line to be the next Santa. <laughs> Director Gordolf Claus. Yes! Well, no, forget it. If you want a gift from Santa that badly, then you can go to the Helsinki International Airport and buy one yourself. Personally, I don't believe you can go wrong with any from the Momoon moving shop. Once those delightful trolls grab hold of your heart, you'll never let it go. Okay, I need to see. Is this a real shop? I I need to see. With three eyes. They okay, may maybe, maybe not? I don't know. Hmm. There is something called Moomin, but not that spelling, so I don't know. Okay, I figured out where the next group of servants is. And it looks like they're already fighting, so you better hurry up if you want to stop them. Come, Nightingale. Very well. I'm glad to see we both wish to swift end to this meaningless conflict. Nightingale, away! She just grabbed me and flew off. Ugh. She nearly brought us over, although there is something off about her. I have no doubt that she's got the Santa Claus traits, that it feels like she's missing something. Like what? If I knew what it was, I would have already said so. Mm, this bears further observation. Come. Larami Mach 2, after them. <laughs> hey, what about me? Don't leave me behind, dammit. Mm, what's with the thumb? You want me to get on your elephant? Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. Come on, let's go already. Riding an elephant. That actually does sound kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. So, riding an elephant sounds like it would be quite the trip. Alright. We got with my family. Woo! We actually got the CE. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's walk shoulder to shoulder. These many heavy pa many packages are stuffed full of joy. And the heavier the load, the more it warms our hearts. So the weight doesn't trouble us. May this precious time together for continue on forever and ever. That's so precious. Oh, so precious. I wish you could do it vertically, but sadly it doesn't work like that with, um, you know, what I'm using as to copy everything. Unlocked by reaching 300,000, 329,050 in everyone's boxes. What does everyone's boxes count currently? I'm, I'm curious. Over 100,000. That's honestly not as much as I thought. I would have guessed that there would be more. Alright, so this it should be both you and Meistamon. So, let's start with you here, Meistamon. Or Tito, my bad. So, let us see, let us see. Alright, this is actually a very, very solid lineup. I'm loving the Mashu. Mashu is solid. Rama's a good choice as well. The Chad Orion is pretty good. Um, Kagetora, the fact that you got her grailed up is pretty nice as well. Kagetora is actually a very solid servant as well. She's pretty good. Um, Shen Gong is actually pretty good for farming. Medusa is a decent choice. Old Man Lee, I have him, but I don't have him leveled, so I can't really give too much feedback there. Spartacus is a bro, and he's pretty solid for a Berserker, low rarity. So good choice there. And of course, Jalter is also looking pretty good as well. As a quick bit of a tip though, I would suggest putting limited zero over on Jalter, just because that will benefit her more since she is more known for her buster attacks and she does have her own crit star gathering. But yeah, that is pretty good, pretty good. Except Tito. And is this you, Maestamon? Is this you? With the... Are you... That is you. Wow. I th I could have swore that you were higher level than this, Maestamon. But still, let's go over, let's go over. So, Mash, you know, 
your mash, your mash could use a little bit of work, but you know, she's not a level one mash, so that is what counts. Fergus is decent enough. Emmy is a pretty good choice. Lambda, Lambda is probably the best four star arts looper you could ask for, or Lancer looper you could ask for. So Lambda is a solid choice there. As is Musashi. Musashi is actually legit one of the best AoE Berserkers in game, you know? So a very good option having her there. And Jet Okita is also pretty nice. Media, pretty good as well. All in all, a pretty solid setup there. I will go ahead and accept. I was questioning if that was you, by the way, because I didn't expect your in-game name to be Zeph. Um, your Emiya is Assassin, though. You have Osaka in the back. Uh, could have sworn it showed your Emiya was the caster. Uh, hang on. It's gonna... I got a lot of people here, so I've... it's gonna take me a little bit to scroll. Um... Hey, Accelerator! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things? It has been a while indeed, it has. Things are going good for me, good for me indeed. Let's see, so very, very slowly scrolling down. Actually, it prob I'll probably find you quicker if I go here, because you're level 100. There you are, Tito. Oh, I was talking t about my Eastermans, Emiya. My bad, Tito, my bad. Uh, I've been lazy popping the streams and doing good too. Good for you? That's good. Uh, how goes your fate journey, Accelerator? Have thou started Christmas? Have thou finished Atlantis? But we're going to continue with the main story, and we'll do these various side missions as um, they come. So we'll start with Section 2, Showdown. Guardians versus Children. We're fighting children here? Oh, man. We're fighting children. Uh, display all at this point. Um, it doesn't matter who I bring, they're not going to be used. So I'll bring your Shengong along, Tito. And actually, hmm, yeah, actually, I will. I'll, I'm trying to think. Actually, he could be useful here, so we'll do this. You've been losing motivation on FGO since you have all of your Rin faces. That's that's fair. Burnout is a very, very real thing. Guardians who won't let children eat snacks before dinner before, versus the children who gorge on snacks before dinner. Ooh, that's a that's a tough fight, you know. That is a tough side of battle to be on. But yeah, burnout is a very real thing with FGO, so you know. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I will say, though, Atlantis, by far, the best of the Lost Belts thus far. No joke, the best of the Lost Belts so far. So, I mean, even taking your time slow, I feel like it could really, you know, shake up the monotony. I can see the battle's already begun. We'll need to head, straight, head there straight away if we're going to stop it. Oh, maybe I could ring these bells to let them know we're coming. I only, I only hope they notice. Take this, and this, and some of this. Santa Island Mask is probably in here. Emia, Bodica, Adelante, Alter, forgive me. Oh, no, no Santa Island Mask. No Santa Island Mask. That's sad. Oh, for goodness sake, why can't you just leave it to me? Almost all your servants are level. Current banners aren't interesting to you as of yet. I feel like I'd burn out if you were spending rainbow apples. Yeah. Bur like I said, burnout is a real thing. Thankfully, I'm not at burnout, but that's also because I keep myself occupied with so many different things. Yeah, what's the big idea? What's the big deal about a few snacks? And that's true. There's nothing wrong with having snacks. As long as you don't have them right before dinner. I guess you have a point, but, you know, you don't like Amakusa. Oh, man. I mean, I can get why you might not. Amakusa can be a little shady, but honestly... Santa Island Mask is kind of turning me around to Amakusa, just because that shows that he does have a caring side. And seeing him be the mentor for Janta during her event, 
that that sort of warmed me up Santa Island mask I mean Amakusa you burned yourself out for 100 boxes yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing um, 100 boxes for Christmas I'm debating it though Hey, no going goody-goody on us, John. We're all in this together, remember? There's no turning back now. But I am a good girl. And you also like having sex before dinner, right? Yes, I can't give those up. I oh, truly am sorry about this, but I can't let you sack before dinner. It will stunt your growth. Even though we're servants. Uh, as long as you all present yourselves as children, we have duty as grown-ups to provide you with structure. After all, we're... Santa Claus! There you have it. 150. Oh, Godspeed, Jakester. Godspeed to you, man. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Santa can't be a parental guardian. You'll break the heart of every child in the world. Yeah. I actually am Santa, so I won't tol tolerate any fake Santas who try to destroy the Santa dream like that. Aw. Janta is precious. Still misspelling things. Come on, let's get him. Curses, I did not want to have to do this, but it seems we have no choice but to apply them with presents. Hold it right there. There's nothing more tragic than parental guardians waging war with their children. Now let's all calm down and see if we can't resolve this peacefully. It's Santa Claus! The way you floated down your umbrella was just beautiful. How romantic, how fantastic, how artistic. You're like that Poppins lady. Mm, looks like your Santa resources are in those bells. I could swear I've seen those bells somewhere before, but I can't put my finger on where. Never mind, let's take them for ourselves and choose the charge of Santa power. Then we can deliver presents to every child in the world. That outfit, that color scheme. She's definitely this year's Santa Claus. I don't be fooled. Take a look, closer look at her umbrella. Huh, her umbrella. <laughs> yes, because that definitely bears closer looking to see. You know, it's totally not like the needle sticking halfway through the umbrella or anything. It's a needle. She almost fooled me. There's nothing worse in the whole world than giving children shots. So anyone who would carry around a giant needle like that could never be Santa. Most of have a claim to be Santa. Second shots are essential for staying in good health. Also, I feel like this Christmas event is, like, so appropriately timed, you know? I am willing to administer as many as it takes to keep you all healthy. Oh, We don't want to get shot. We'll be fine without it. It seems that resolving this peacefully may be more difficult than I thought. Master, would it be alright with you if I neutralize them first? By neutralize, you mean knock them out. Fight them. Bring it. You're on. Santa has many, many enemies. How many times must I say it? I'm an ordinary nurse, not Santa Claus. I think we have very different definitions of ordinary, but never mind that I'm prepared for battle, Master. That's me, it's a needle. I'm a scared of needles. I mean, I'm not afraid of needles. I'm more indifferent to them. I, or rather, I just don't like needles. Since, um, I've had to have them a fair bit. I need a snack. All the taco snacks honestly made me peckish. So I have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. To help with that peckishness. Sure, they're probably from around April or so, but they're still good. They're still wrapped up after all, so that must mean they're fine. Mm. Delicious, delicious reasons. Santa's gift. <laughs> What was that? Spoiled child power. So they tried to debuff Nightingale there, it looks like. Let's get some defense. And... Doot. Doot, doot. Hit. Good crit. <laughs> oh, Nightingale, you are something. Hushed Guardian Power gave them a crit and defense buff. Well, it's a good thing I have attack buffs. 
Santa, deal with these interlopers. Well, I feel deal with these Reese's cups. Another master mission done. Not giving us any currency drops through the event story, which is odd. Hey, so now this is all. No, now that's all over with. Do you think you could chalk this up to a bad dream and just forget it ever happened? It was pretty unforgettable, not gonna lie. Well, do your best, because I'm begging you here. Ooh, thanks for snapping us out of that. Why well, in the world was I said I'm becoming Santa Claus? You are sick, confused, not in your right minds. You are all suffering from, let's call it Santa Claus syndrome for the time being. But how, though? I don't know, I'm pretty sure I was cooking for all this went down, but that's all I know. Me too, though, I also get the feeling that someone was told me I was going to become a Santa Claus. Same. Well, I just remembered something else. I also heard a jingling sound, just like coming from those. The bells. That's right, I remember someone said something like, You can be Santa too. Once the bell started ringing, I gradually lost consciousness. And the next thing I knew, I was Santa, well, trying to become Santa anyway. <laughs> it does sound like something out of a horror movie. Just minding your own business, and then you just start to hear a soft jingle of the bells. You don't know where they're coming from, but it's slowly getting louder and louder and louder and louder, and then all of a sudden, just a whisper in your ear. You can become Santa too. And then you just lose consciousness. That does honestly sound like something from a horror movie. Nida, what a horrifying scenario. I had no idea Santa was contagious. What about you? What are you three doing here? I came to your Santa Island. Yeah, there were some posters on the wall that said you can be Santa too. Master, I found the posters in question. It wasn't hard. I put them up. wasn't shy about using any available service. No, I remember. I saw that same Santa slogan. I got a bad feeling about it and probably chose to ignore it. And that's when it happened. Somebody came up to me and said, How could you just ignore it? That's so mean. And you know the rest. I remember they sounded kind of girlish, not girlish at the same time. They had a cute voice, at least I think they did. I can say this much for sure, whoever it was was not a child. I also take issue with Boruka's use of the word cute. This person's voice was cute, yes, but I feel like there was something distinctly uncute about it. Oh, come on, it was totally cute. I'm not sure what to make of it. I think it did sound cute, but it also sounded like the voice of a born troublemaker. So Emiya finds Astolfo's voice cute. That's something to hold over him, I suppose. Watch this theory of profiling. Well, gee, um, Nightingale, do you still insist you're not Santa Claus? Obviously. Santa's the demon who goes around giving candy in the dead of night. He's the enemy of children and dentists everywhere. That's so far, far off the mark, I don't even know where to begin. Santa Claus isn't a demon at all. He's, um, reindeer. How would you describe Santa? Santa gives people hope and dreams. It is hard to put in words, isn't it? In the end, it all comes down to the feeling. Yeah, it's like how we just know when we have a perfect chance to kill somebody. I mean, guess any assassin probably knows what it's like. That sounds like the unconscious feeling I get when I can just tell my next arrow is going to hit its target. That's how you must be Santa Claus. But you still can't accept who you are. That's so sad. You see this, if you ask me, being Santa is the greatest job in the world. Trust me, getting to be Santa is a big honor. You should be proud. Yes, presents, we wonder what we're going to get this year. Was it that you want for Christmas? Is it sweets? Sweets would be great, of course, but really, we're happy with anything. After all, presents are the stuff of love, hope, and dreams. Love, hope, and dreams, huh? Those are all very important, but presents are supposed to be strictly material things, correct? You're not wrong. Kids do love getting practical gifts. It's a conundrum every parental figure has to deal with. You think? I've always believed that. Thought it's the thought that counts when it comes to gifts. But it's true whether it's the thoughts are affectionate or spiteful. I do not think I want to imagine giving a present out of spite. 
I see. So what you're saying is, there's more to Santa Claus than giving candy to children. That's right, a lot more. Wait a second, are you uncomfortable around kids? Aww, that's kind of adorable. How are you? A moment, please. I assure you I do not dislike or otherwise shun children. I have no negative feelings whatsoever toward them. Of, um... I get it. Some feelings you can't just put into words. Anyway, now that we've all snapped out of it, we really should get back and get ready to start for Christmas. Sounds good to me. How about you three? You three can just continue to see. Think to your tour if you want, but it could be a little dangerous. We want to go home too. I agree, every child has the right to pay wait patiently for presents, whether they're naughty or nice. I don't know. I was hoping to find Santa Island Mask here, since this place is called Santa Island and all. But I guess going back home works too. If you do run into a man with a mask, please tell me please tell him I'm doing well. I still don't believe I'm the next Santa Claus, or at least I don't think so, but alright I will. Okay, Master, now that we've successfully eradicated the disease here, let's go looking for the next group of patients. With the umbrella! Yes, why not? If you like, I'll be glad to transport you on my umbrella. Just make sure you hold on to me tight. Whee! Oh, wait, Florence, there's one last thing I want to ask you. Florence, very well, what is it? Would you be so kind as to tell me how you feel about children sometime? I am a hero of children everywhere, after all. Aww. Away! Hey, Jean, are you sure that she's this year's Santa? Absolutely. As the last, last, last Santa Claus myself, I can spot another Santa with 100% certainty. So I can tell you for sure that nine kills this year's Santa. Looks like she still hasn't come to terms with it, though. Maybe not, but it also seems your words had an effect on her. Well, I don't know about that. She's a smart lady. I'm sure she would have figured it out on her own at some point. Hmm? Uh oh. Salter? No. Oh, that's the Santa who came before me. Samba! No, he came before her, so Salter. Followed closely by a war event. I don't know better. I would have thought that it was at a zoo. No kidding, especially with a demon boy on your shoulder. Okay, everyone, let's go back to Caldea. We have to get ready for welcome our new Santa Claus. How oh, sweet. I'm happy that they're all working together to welcome them. Nightingale is Santa, and that Nightingale is going to find out the true meaning of Christmas. Well, I find out the true meaning behind this Rufus's Cup. Another the quartz. Oh, wow. Hmm. We're already at the time lock. Well, that went fast. Much, much faster than I thought. Um. I guess we... Check out these free quests now. So. Let's see here. I'm actually going to get up the wiki on this one just so I can farm the most effectively here. Uh, not the wiki wiki, but the game press wiki this time. Let's see, let's see. Christmas walkthrough. Uh, so... Novice and Intermediate are very ineffective. Advance is okay. Green Tag is the best for Bronze currently, so up until Green Tag it doesn't matter what CEs I bring in then. Okay. That's good to know. So I don't even need to build specific parties. I can just go with generalization. So, exploring Santa Island Novice is a rider. Um, we'll go ahead and filter down, though. And you know what, Jakester? You spoke up, so we're going to use your Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. Let's use your Charlotte for this first note. Also, I keep pulling out matching colors for these Reese's Cups. It's nice. This is probably going to be the last two I have, though, because I need to save room for the ribs. Mm, can't wait for, like, three and a half hours from now. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh, 
This is gonna be so easy. <laughs> ah, Charlotte. Charlotte, be precious. She is a tier two waifu after all. May I be a Santa who delivers smiles? Aw, Marie. That's kind of sweet. Sadly, the answer to your question is no for it now, Marie. Marie Antoinette, you do not get to be a Santa this year. In any of the servers. It'll be a matter of time, though. It's all a matter of time. <sighs> Delicious H2O. Okay. So, the various tags. So. Knowing that. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be stuck doing the green tag, aren't I? For a while. Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see. This is archers. So we want to go with a lancer. Um, or anybody, honestly. Yeah, let's just go Scotty. Scotty, Waver, Nightingale. Why not? Take Pokemon playing binge. Alright, Maestamon. Alright, thank you for stopping by. It was nice chatting with you. I don't think I'm going to be going for too much longer. I'm going to likely clear out all of these free quests and probably call things there. But again, thank you for stopping by. It was nice chatting. And uh, glad to have you along on the following, or on the friend support chain in FGO as well. So I hope my support list will be useful to you in your endeavors. Oh man, these notes. Okay, yeah, um, Tito, you really should not have issues, um, farming this event thus far. Like, wow, this is, I don't know if this is, like, if I'm just out of touch, but this just feels, like, way easier than normal. Uh-oh, excuse me. Like, way, way easier than normal, it almost feels. Still so great that Nightingale's just shooting her gun or throwing grenades as her attacks. It's hysterical. But man, she's quite the shot, you know? Nightingale be a Friggin' beast with a gun. Looking forward to my present, Kid Gil. You know, I feel like Kid Gil would be more likely to get a present than normal Gil would. And actually... That, that actually makes me think. So, I know Gil had a part in sort of waiting for his present in Christmas 1. I think he got a present in Christmas 2. Christmas 3, which is one of the weirder Christmases, completely honest, and that's saying something, did have Caster Gill as a part. Did Gill have any role to play in the Samba Christmas? Because I'm kind of wondering if Gill has a part to play in every single Christmas event. Because that'd be pretty cool. Next is Zerkers. Okay. Zerkers are... Oh, the next free quest, so the silver tier node. Okay, I I was I was about to say that's not the Zerker symbol there, Jakester, but I I get you now, I get you. Um, let's spread the love out a little bit. We'll bring Excel's Nightingale. Quick drink. 
Yeah, we're almost done already. Shock, shock, shock. I honestly thought there would be more section, or I thought it was up to section three would be open today, but I guess it doesn't open until 20 Pacific time, probably, which is going to be later. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> You know, I've never actually... I don't remember ever using Basic Nightingale. Did she just have a, a grenade for a hammerhead and use that to attack? So, so that's quite awesome. And she just straight up fisticuffs. Uh... Close. Uh, nope, this is Excel's Nightingale. This be Excel's. Sorry to burst your bubble. I decided to spread the love around a little bit, you know? Felt it fair. Felt it fair. Okay, final wave of this one is... Next Gen Santa Island Mask. I mean, I suppose he is the next generation of Santa Island Mask, in a way. Um, can this give me anything? No. All right, I mean, Nightingale's probably got this regardless, but you know, I had to check. <laughs> So good. Alright, so the next node is where we can really start farming. The bronze mats here. With the green tag. Silver fruit. Uh, I'm five AP short, so I'm gonna, I'll just use a silver fruit. Actually, I'll use a bronze fruit since I got that from somewhere. I honestly have no idea where, but I'll take it. All right, so the bronze node is going to need to be assassins. There's going to be assassin focused. So I need casters. Uh oh, excuse me. More often than not. Uh, let's see if I can't find somebody with only the max limit breaking. Nope, not off the front. Not from the second time, either. Is the third one seriously... I mean, it is only a day in, so you'd think there would be somebody or more than a few people. Oh, Infamy has quite a few. Um, <clears throat> uh, I guess neutral damage with Jack. And which are the times do I wish to be rid of here? I'm going to say tea time for this. Just because tea time does not give as much uh, bond. Yeah. And then this one gives master experience as well. So yeah, this will work. Um, so this is... What is the currency called... Gauze. So let's really quickly name Gauze. There we go. And let's get this party started. Let's see how difficult this one is, I suppose. Christmas Nursing Green Tag. Pardon the on. Okay, enemies are a little bit higher health-wise, I suppose, but still nothing that a new person wouldn't be able to deal with. Like, I'm pretty sure you could definitely arrash this first wave. Yeah. 
Nito, Avisbron, and Sieg. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of like what new players could do here. Like Arash, Spartacus, and Nightingale themselves probably would be enough. Yeah, that combination actually probably would be enough to ta take this down. Especially since Nightingale has that damage bonus. Yeah, Shengong would definitely be useful here. For sure, for sure. Uh... He also has a bonus. True. That makes him even more so. I feel like the bonus might be a little bit overkill, though, with these kinds of nodes. Just saying. Because these are not very difficult nodes. Buster crit from Waver is enough to just eviscerate one of the people who lost their presence. Poor person who lost the presence. Also, this is definitely giving me more than just the gauze. I, I thought this was a gauze only node. Santa's an idol. I mean, we all have our opinions, I suppose. Uh, let's go for a brave chain. <sighs> I honestly might be taking a nap here after I'm done streaming. Oh, the god! So there is gonna be a god only now. Well, that's annoying. I thought this was the gods only node. This is just the best of the gods nodes, huh? Okay, no, this is the mixed node. Okay, so this is the mixed node then. So tomorrow, or in other words, in a few hours, is when we get the best gauze node. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That might change how I stream. I might actually do. I could do Friday, continue the event. If I do a later in the day stream, you know, I gotta look this up. So when is 20 PST to EST? Because that's going to be when things unlock, right? Yeah. So 20 PST is 11 PM. Okay, so we'll unlock the next section if I stream t on Friday. That will literally only give me bronze farming over the weekend. Shoot. I have to figure out how I'm going to be running this, I suppose. Yeah, I gotta figure out when I'm gonna be streaming and all that stuff. So, I think for now, I'm gonna call tonight's stream here. We've started the Christmas event, gotten our first Santa Nightingale, and we expect to get more as the days come. So, for now, I've been Solarac Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed the stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to know more, be sure to... If you want to check me out more, be sure to either drop this stream a follow if you're watching this on Twitch, or drop it a sub if you're on YouTube, because all the backlog of all of my content ends up on there eventually. But, uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody, and an early Merry Christmas, even though I will be seeing you all before Christmas comes. But, you know, I'm in a Christmas mood, okay? Dang it. Nightingale's got me in a Christmas mood. Have a good night, everybody.